Since the COVID-19 pandemic hit, many doctor's visits have gone virtual. Mental health therapists and physical therapists are also seeing patients via Zoom and Skype. In Health Watch this morning, Fox News Marilyn Deutsch shows us how even some traditional hands-on therapies can be done online. Have you work on that one where we're going to pull it right on out? Valerie McKenzie does virtual physical therapy once a week for neck and back pain. But when Providence physical therapist Kelly Powers first proposed this option, Valerie was not convinced. So I said, okay, I was a little skeptical because I've had physical therapy before and there's a lot of just really, there's, there's contact. Hands-on healing can be an important part of PT. We just needed to figure out how to revamp those skills and do it without our hands. While working out of her office at Providence Tannisborn Rehab, Kelly says she can't touch her patient through a screen, but she compensates by asking direct questions and putting her patients through the paces of a mobility assessment. And touch your chin all the way down to your chest. Both therapists and patients say there are some advantages to virtual PT sessions. Kelly saw how Valerie lies down on her own bed. I was actually able to observe her sleeping position, make some modifications in her pillow, which I think helps significantly for her. Valerie also likes the convenience. And I have an appointment with Kelly in the morning and I, um, it's just, I don't have to go anywhere. I just get out of bed, I have a cup of coffee and then I have my appointment and that's, it's just so easy. Valerie plans to continue virtual PT even once the pandemic's over. Whether in person or on screen, the exercises are the same. Some of them I love, some of them are harder. Marilyn Deutsch, Good Day Oregon. Providence still offers in-person PT, but with COVID-19 precautions, because for some patients that hands-on contact is still necessary. For more information, go to the Providence link on kptv.com.